What is up, America? Today is your host back at you again, the head savage here with a review. Now, keep in mind, this is a review, not about how much heat I can take. So, on the lineup or against the wall, we're going to have Lola's hot sauces. This is the Carolina Reaper. I already showed you guys the Trinidad Scorpion one. And she got a few of them. Let me see here. Yeah, this one is the Ghost Pepper. I chose to go ahead and do... I don't know. I didn't know why I chose this one. I just chose this one. First come, first serve, something like that. But this is the Carolina Reaper. And what I'm going to do here today is... Um, I'm going to tell you guys how I feel about her. And you know me. My main thing about hot sauces is the ingredients in the sodium in it. She got like less than, let's see, let's say that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Less than seven ingredients in her hot sauce. So she not doing a bunch of makeup to cover up for this and that. And then the sodium is only 55 milligrams. So that speaks volumes to me because they're not putting a bunch of additives and all this and that. They're not putting a bunch of salt in there trying to cover up for flavor. And one more thing. I don't know what you guys going to feel about. Like, you know, I don't know what y'all going to feel about this here. I don't have my chicken, but I'm going to try this on a saltine. And the reason why I'm trying it on saltine, I don't care about the mother of pearl spoon. I mean, that don't got nothing to do with it. When you eating hot sauce, you eat it on some anyway. So, who cares about the straight flavor like that? I mean, that's fine in a certain way, but we're not just straight up eating the hot sauce. When you eating it on something, when you eat it, and then not only that, when you eating it on a spoon, you putting it in your mouth and then you're like hurrying up and then swallowing it. You want it to fester in the mouth, but. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and get my little saltine out real fast here. And you guys already know. And if you do know, y'all can sing along with me because it's going down like one, two, three. Is it hot or not? Should we pump it or dump it? Is it hot or not? Should we pump it or dump it? Let's see what Lola's got for us today, guys. And you know I got my handy downy knife. Always like my knife. I take this everywhere because I don't know when a sucker might be trying to steal my hot sauce. I keep my hot sauces on a lock and key. I mean, you know me. I ain't just about the heat. I like the flavor in my hot sauces, man. I can eat a bunch of chili pods and all that, but man, this is more than just about the heat. You got to have the hot sauce to eat with stuff. You know what I'm saying? Get that all cut up real quick. Get that ready to go. Uh, hold on. I messed up, didn't I, guys? We got to make sure she all good and shook up. Spank her on the butt. I'm sorry, mama. But if you're hot enough, I can be your daddy. Lula's Fine Hot Sauce, everyone. The Carolina Reaper. And next time, we'll be hearing from the Ghost Pepper. We got a bunch of guys here on the lineup. I can get into a long story, but I'm not. I got a long story about this guy. I can't wait to try him, but if you know what I'm talking about, there's a sauce missing out there. I can't skip, so yeah, if you know what I'm talking about, you know. But anyhow, let's go ahead with Lulu's right here. Let's see how she doing. Let's see how she tastes. Let's see if she great. Uh, she's a little runny there. You know, that's my pet peeves right there. I don't like a runny sauce because when it's runny, you see it here like that on a plate, you wasting sauce, man. It needs to be thick so it stick to the food. And everybody not just eating hot sauce with a spoon. Anyhow, we cut all that short. Let's go ahead and see what Lula's tastes like. Mm. 
Well, I must tell you, it's not hot as I was expecting, but where I did find Lula's was in a grocery store. <laughs> Keep that in mind. So, it's a family friendly product. So, the heat that I was expecting, mm, I probably was a little bit naive because I shouldn't have been expecting that much heat. But for the average heat chaser and flavor lover of hot sauces, Lula's has been pretty good. But for me, for me, I'm going to give her, I give her a thumbs up for flavor, a thumbs down for heat. But for the average person, Lula can get two thumbs up. But I really don't have too much more to say about her. I mean, she got good flavor. And the heat is not where I want it, but she got good flavor. So if um you find Lula's wherever you at, be sure to drop me a comment. Let me know what store you found her in. And also, before you click off of this channel, don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button. Tell me about anything you want to tell me. And stay tuned for those shout outs. Until then, the next video, hmm, it's going to be on the hot sauce. But uh, peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.